Chaos Blur coming to you live as always with another exciting episode of Retro Request Party, episode 7. Hey, who knows, if I get enough viewers, I might even make a logo for this thing. But uh, seriously now, and I am going to just do that for a second. It is time for Retro Request Party, episode 7. I've got an exciting new format that I'm looking to debut today, but of course, like anything, it's going to require some viewers. So for just a little bit, as I uh, get ready to get started here, I'm going to play a little... Uh, Sonic 1 for you guys, girls, people, and we're going to cut on over to the video screen. Yes, I'm back to using the Retron 5, our old friend, which allows me to play several games from the Genesis, Super Nintendo, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy, etc. And because of that, you know, there's obviously a lot of choices to pick from, and every time I do one of these Retro Request parties, it becomes a little hectic as far as what I'm going to play. So I've come up with a system, kind of like a deciding decision type of voting system that I think is going to make things a little more streamlined, a little more fun, and actually probably a lot shorter because sometimes these episodes could go on for like, I don't know, two, three hours, and you know, that's fun. If you guys want to watch it, I will gladly do it, but let's face it, a lot of you probably have other things to do. My view numbers would certainly suggest that you have a lot of other things to do. But right now, like I said, I'm just playing a little Sonic just to get things started, maybe go a few minutes with this, and then I'll kind of explain the new system, and, you know, if nobody shows up, that's obviously going to be kind of a kick in the junk, because it's uh, kind of the whole basis of the system is it's going to be kind of voting-based, which, I mean, it always kind of was, but before, nobody really knew what they were voting for, that's on me, so, in an effort to streamline things, I'm kind of half paying attention to my game and half paying attention to my stream, so I don't really, you know, hopefully... Everything's running okay, I'm just kind of testing things out right now as I wait for more people to show up. I say half-jokingly. It's not a good level to test because this level actually can, requires a lot of concentration. It's funny, after playing the Genesis Mini for so long and then playing this game on the Retron 5, you can notice a difference. It still looks pretty good on here, but it looks a lot better on the Genesis Mini. Stuck in a little bit of a loop here. This section almost looks a little different. Oh, okay, that was almost really bad. And this, of course, the difference between this and the Genesis Mini is I am playing this off the original cart. So all the games you're going to see today will be off original cartridges, not original hardware, because this is a Hyperkin Retron 5, so they're kind of like ROM ports almost. It's, it's a little weird. But, uh, yeah. go through the whole game with you right now. I'm just kind of, like I said, warming up. It takes a lot of time to get this good at stuff. Actually, it was pretty good combo. I almost wish someone was here to see that. Okay. So, I hope to see some people today. Like I said, just trying to be friendly. This is Chaos Blur. Of course, I'm affiliated with Bobby Productions. I am Bobby Productions. I'm Bobby Gaines, playing these games for you guys live and on camera. So anything that happens, I'm not going to be able to edit it out or anything. Not that I would. I really like that, but if I mess up, if I game glitches, whatever happens is going to happen. I got kind of lucky there, too. It's actually probably the best run I've had at Marble Zone in a long time, and there is nobody here to see it. Pity, really. This next part is kind of tricky, if I remember correctly. Nah, not this part. Never was a big Marble Zone fan happens to be what zone the game was on when I started it. So that's a cool thing about the Retron 5, and obviously the Genesis Mini as well, which we'll probably see more of in a future episode. Um, with the Retron 5, of course, you can save your game at any time, which was not available on the original game, so if you want to, and apparently I wanted to, you can uh, start with Marble Zone instead of Green Hill Zone, or I could have started with any level, said I picked the slowest level in the game. Ready or not, Retro Request Party is here. I've got some games on hand. I'm going to play five of them, and that's going to depend on your choices what five I play. And heck, could even determine how long I play for. So that's what I'm all about. This is a very viewer-based channel. In retrospect, it's not my best idea. But hey, it's a new year. I was going to say this is the first episode of the year, but I think I get another one. 
I did. I did the Dreamcast one. And that's another thing I might get into. I might start doing different consoles because it gets kind of, you know, what do you consider retro gaming? Obviously, you know, Sega Genesis, um, Super Nintendo, things like that. But, like, what about Xbox 360? Because that console is, like, 15 years old almost. And same with, like, Nintendo GameCube, Nintendo Wii. Like, those are consoles that are now over a decade old, and I have plenty of games for those, too. So... There's no reason I couldn't, in future episodes, show off some of my GameCube games, show off some uh, Xbox 360 games. I don't have a PS3. I do have a PS2, so that could certainly be something that's on the table for future episodes. Yes, future episodes of past games. Back to the future. Yeah, I completely walked into that one. Yeah, I see we got a viewer. So that will certainly uh, start things off on a high note. I'm not going to do the special zone because I don't have an hour. Alright, well, we got ourselves a viewer, so I can start as soon as. Oops. As soon as I have confirmation that they're a real person, because a lot of times they're just bots. I have a lot of fun with bots, I've tried. So close to finishing the level, I would just say screw it, but I'm already on the last act, so I may as well keep going unless I get any objections. Listen to that high quality ring noise. say, having played the Genesis Mini and then played this, one thing I will give the Genesis Mini a lot of credit for, and I give it a credit for a lot of things, is that I'm playing this on a real, like, honest to goodness Genesis controller from the 90s, and it feels pretty much identical to the 2019 Genesis controller that I've been playing. So, kudos to Sega for pretty much emulating this controller perfectly, both in terms of feel and how the buttons work and everything. And, yeah, kudos to me for falling for that trap for the millionth time. One thing about Sonic games, they love to put bumpers that are counterintuitive. Like, half the time, if you see a spring in a Sonic game, don't hit it, because you're just going to go backwards into spikes. It's one of the oldest tricks in the book, or you just walk into stuff like me. Checkpoint up here, I never really got the point of it. You try not to get squished. As I mentioned, and I don't know if I have a viewer actually here or not, but I'll explain it again. Uh, this episode of Retro Request Party is going to have a bit of a different format. I'll be playing five different games, but those five different games will be chosen by the viewers um, from a pre-populated list that I've made. So, a little bit more, a little bit more structure to it than the usual. Hey, I've got a hundred games. Let's just pick one. Like, no, there's going to actually be kind of some choices. So figure 25 games, you pick five of them, those are the five that I play, obviously we'll go one at a time, and, you know, little stuff like, I got level select cheats, I got some different things we can do to make it a little more interesting or fun or whatever, so I want this to be as interactive as possible, that's kind of been the goal since day one, I really like the premise of the Retro Request series, I'd be lying if I said I love how it's going as far as a viewer base, but, we've got a viewer in the proverbial house, ahead here. It seems like I've played a lot of Marble Zone lately. Arguably the blockiest level in any Sonic game. Maybe Planet Wisp from Sonic Colors, but that, I actually like that level a lot better. This level's just so damn blocky, like it's just squares. Except for this part, you get like a little bit of creative terrain. That's what I always liked about Sonic games compared to other platformers, is like little hills like that like it's a small touch but like you look at a lot of other platformers from this era and it was like all kind of blocks like this you'd be jumping from circular and square platforms onto other square platforms but sonic tried to emulate real environments and even like city environments and machine environments would have nice little inclines and slants to them like you'd expect 
So there's certain attention to realism as much as there can be with a colorful hedgehog. Alright, that's gonna wrap that up. Not really my intention to play that as long as I did. So, like I was saying, uh, how we all doing? This is Bobby Gaines, Chaos Blur. Just kind of starting things off with the original Sonic game. While I change that out, I will explain the new system, because I'm sure you're all very excited to hear that. And it looks like I got at least one viewer into it. So, usually Retro Request Party, like I said, I would have like, I don't know the exact number of games, but I would have quite a few games just spread out all over the place. And I'd be like, all right, pick one of these games and I'll put it in. And who the hell even knows what game I'd pick. So this time I've actually gone a bit further than that. So for the first game that I'll play, and like I said, you'll have a choice on each of them. I've got five choices, and each of these choices for all five games is going to have a specific theme. So this one is going to be pinball games. So right now, take your pick. Any of these five games, we got Sonic Spinball, very famous, um, obviously, Sega Genesis game featuring your truly Sonic the Hedgehog going through four different pinball levels. Virtual Pinball for Sega Genesis, kind of a generic pinball game. I think I uh, showed it off on another episode of the show. Uh, virtual Pinball, you have like probably dozens of tables to pick from, kind of generic. You can even create your own. Decent game, pretty fun. I mean, all these games are pretty good, or I wouldn't put them on the list. Uh, Pokemon Pinball for Game Boy Advance. It's not the more famous one. Everyone knows the Game Boy Color one, but this is Pokemon Pinball Ruby or Sapphire Edition. You get two different tables, obviously Pokemon themed. Uh, Sonic Pinball Party on Game Boy Advance, another Sonic Pinball game, but you also have Nights into Dreams tables. And for those of you who don't know, and Bex just showed up and said Pokemon out of nowhere. So, <laughs> how we doing, Bex? Alrighty. Pokemon Pinball, Ruby and Sapphire. Uh, I don't, I'm gonna guess she was the viewer the whole time, but I'm like, see, I thought if she was the viewer, she would have said hello, but I guess Pokemon is a greeting of sorts. So yeah, that's that's my new system. So like every game's gonna have a theme. Like I said, this is the pinball theme. So we're gonna go ahead and kick off a Pokemon pinball little uh, playthrough here. Oh good, the controller works. Oh good, unknown cartridge. Yes. Extra finished streaming an hour ago because I thought you started one. Oh, that's my bad. What do you mean extra finished? <laughs> I appreciate you uh, making the time, but yeah, you're very early, and you just watched me play Marble Zone for no reason. Did my controller like just stop responding? I bet I have it still on the Genesis controller. One second here. This controller was just working. Okay. I literally just pressed start on this controller to, to do that. So obviously the controller works. Ooh, two viewers. Alright, two viewers can watch me fumble with a goddamn controller. I just hit the start button! Gotta be freaking kidding me right now. Okay, that still works. This is kind of ticking me off. I know I've actually tested this game on here before, too. This is BS. I can't select an option. Let's try this again. Sometimes it doesn't recognize certain games, or you have to, like... Take them out. Alrighty. What were you streaming, Bex? Because clearly I'm streaming nothing. Ten out of ten, yeah. Well, I don't get why it does this sometimes. Controller clearly works. I'm using it right now. Do, 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 do. Oh, wow, look at that. It even loaded the freaking, like, game, too. Like, okay. Screw it. If the controller works, I'll just keep it on. It looks like it will work. I'm, like, in mid-game now, but that's okay. I think this is the Ruby table, although I get them kind of confused. I don't know if you played this game before, but... I prefer the Game Boy Color one. I actually don't own it, though. I only play to friends. 
table's a, uh, this game's a little more limited, but you can still catch Pokemon like in that game. Looks like I've caught one. I really hope there's not a Pokemon in that ball, because now you got me thinking. Now I'm kind of worried that this isn't just a fun little game and we're actually torturing small animals by flinging them around a table and throwing them into that thing's mouth. Let's see if I remember this. Ooh, the Pokemon Mart. I should get some coins. I can do a ball saver. I don't have enough to upgrade the ball. I don't have enough for a lot of these things. Oh, I can do a bonus challenge. How am I sold out of Pokeballs? I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna buy anything. Actually, I think I already have a Master Ball, so I don't even... No, no, I don't have a Master Ball. Master Ball's gold. Ah, crap. Now I don't have any ball. Because I should have bought that Ball Saver. Oh, that was fun. I like how Bex just showed up and said Pokemon. Oh, oh shoot. Oh, I still have the Saver. I say, if I line up a Pikachu, Pikachu will shock him back into the stadium. Now I've got to upgrade my ball, because I'm back to the regular Pokeball. Mart is still open. They have such weird hours. I feel like I'm Adam Sandler doing the Denise show. I don't know if anyone remembers that skit. Like, Alright, today we're going to talk to Denise. Oh, that was great. I purposely picked games I haven't played in a while, so... Well, I guess I'll... I'll go ahead and invest in the 30-second ball saver. Let's go, Eevee. You often won great balls after a fight. Very often you got two. You've got two great balls. <laughs> You've got two great balls. I want two master balls. There actually is a game for Sega Genesis just called Balls, with a Z. I actually may even own it, and I don't even know what it's about. That is a real thing. There's a game called Balls with a Z. Let's see what happens with that egg. Of course, both these tables are different. I can't even remember what table I'm playing right now. I don't want to repeat it. You own balls? I own a couple, yeah. I don't really do much with them, but I got them. Oh, you mean the game? Uh, I might. I don't know that for sure. It wasn't really on my list, because I hear it's not a very good game. It Sometimes I go on eBay and I just buy lots of Genesis games, and there might be two games I want, and they'll throw in, like, three games I don't care about, and I want to say Balls was one of those, and it's just, like, sitting in my room somewhere with the case. It's, like, black, and it says Balls in rainbow letters. It's really dumb looking. And I want to say it's, like, one of those 3D over-the-top games where you, like, kind of tilt something to get, like, a marble into a hole. I don't know, though. It's probably, it probably is too ballsy. Oh, how come it's okay when you make puns? Wait, does that say hole? Am I spelling hole? What is wrong with this game? H-O-L-E. I'm spelling hole. Yours are pretty good. But not as good as the fact that I'm spelling hole. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, the start slot was open, too. I swear I didn't mean to make all these innuendos. I guess that was my last ball. Hey, I made the list. I'm the entire list. I don't know what table that was, so that was... Okay, we did the sapphire table already, so then we will do the ruby table. Uh, can't believe it's spelled whole. I gotta see. I gotta see something here. This one's, I bet this one's gonna spell whole, too. Oh, that was quick. Alright, we're in catch-up mode. Any guesses as to who that is? I really don't know. Is that Taurus? Might be Taurus. Oh, dip, dip. Oh, oh, I think that's Raticate. Oh, no, I wouldn't catch Raticate. A Pokemon! <laughs> well, I know they have different names in Germany, so I don't know who would call it the same thing. Oh, that's, um, Doduo. Two, the two-headed bird guy. Uh, let me see. Let me see if I can guess the German name. Uh, Zweikoff. It's Zweikoff. Probably wasn't even close on that. Ooh, 
Yeah, Z- Wait, what? No, I didn't say Zweikraft or Kraft. Uh, I, I basically was just saying two heads in German. Like Zweikopf. Two head. Because he has two heads? I don't know. Or are you saying he's actually called that? Because that would be kind of funny. Oh, that's right. I can have this little Electabuzz guy, like, punch the ball. Do do? Oh, so they just take the O oh, out of duo? I guess that would make sense, because even in German, doubles like doppel. Ooh, we open the start slot. Can never get the ball to go slow enough to go in the slot. There we go. Do dri. So you just take the O off of it. Because ours is do drio. Even though in German I thought it'd be do drio. I actually kind of rolled my R okay there. Do drio. I'm never gonna do that again. Pikachu, thank you. Bless you. Oh my god. <laughs> Dex is on our game today. Do drio. <laughs> I can't believe I can say dre. No, I, no, I jinxed it. I can never say dry, or dry zine. I can never say dry zine. So if I ever have to count to 13, I'm just gonna say Zwolf and then that one. There we go, that's how you upgrade the ball. Actually, it's starting to come back to me. I only have 11 coins, I'll buy the ball saver just to be safe. That's uh, Cyndaquil, I think, that I just hit. Ooh, the catch thing is open again. Excited for the Super Bowl. Yes, actually, I think it's going to be a good game. I really don't know who's going to win either way. I've kind of gone on the 49ers, but I think the Chiefs could and probably will win. Depends on if you want more defense or offense, because the Chiefs are a very good offensive team, but their defense is not as good, so it'll be up to San Francisco to kind of hold them to, like, 20 or less points, and I think they got a chance then. Either way, I'm looking forward to it. I always like the Super Bowl. I like the little things around the Super Bowl, like the halftime show and the ads. I'm lame like that. I kind of hope they show a new Sonic movie trailer during one of the ads. They might. I don't know. Come on. Ah, that was kind of the, the lamest thing I could have gotten. Who are we for, though? God, see, again, I'm not really partial either way. I actually like the Chiefs better, but I've already bet a bunch of people that I'm going to go with the 49ers, and I just lost my ball. But I think either team could win. I think the Chiefs will win. Also, a little Easter egg. Uh, the Chiefs coach, Andy Reid, if you look him up, he looks like Dr. Robotnik. I'm not even kidding. I'm not going to say anything more than that. I'm sure you'll, you'll show them tonight. I did do a certain team, and uh, my team was the 49ers. So, it's going to have to be the 49ers, I guess. I only did the 49ers because everyone else picked the Chiefs, so I can't pick the same team. But that's the good thing about the Super Bowl is that it's kind of evenly matched, whereas last year I was pretty sure the Patriots were going to win, and they did. This year, I'm not so sure who's going to win. I am sure that I might catch a Pokemon. Oh, is that Lapras? Who is that? Oh, crap, 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 crap. Oh, okay, I had a ball saver. That looks like one of those new Pokemon I don't know. It almost looks like a giraffe or something. This, this is based on, like, I think some of the later games. What is that thing? It is a giraffe. I really don't know what Pokemon that is. Hey, the ball saver bailed me out. Now I might catch this stupid giraffe thing and learn its name. Alright, here we go. Let's see. Let's see who we caught. I really don't know. Really? It's called giraffe rig It's just giraffe with an ig at the end. Okay, that was a waste of all our time. Can I, can I take that one back? Like, is there a refund on that? Can I trade it in for a better one? Can I get a Dodrio? Literally 
anything would be better than that. Giraffarig. Hell, that's probably the German name, because that even sounds like a German word. Giraffarig. You can read it from both sides. Oh, it's another one of those? Like, um, well, technically Ekans is something different backwards, but it is a pal well, it's not a palindrome then. I don't know what it is. Yeah, you're right. Ah, oh, damn it, my Pikachu wasn't ready. My Pikachu... <laughs> Pikachu, why? I, I thought I charged you before we left. Oh, did you know that today's date is actually a, also a palindrome? 2220 backwards is the same date. Oh, that's a sand true. Do I get to keep him or does he just walk around? Uh, I guess he just walks around. Oh, okay. I guess I just hit him a little bit. Oh, come on, sand true. Come here. There you go. 909 years, which is also a palindrome. 909. All right, well, there you go. We caught ourselves a sand shrew. I'm going to go ahead and say in German that that is uh, sa Sandmasse. I don't know. I forgot what sand is. What the hell just happened? Oh, Aerodactyl put an egg on there. Oh, okay, we get to do the bonus event. It's basically like a boss fight. Oh, this, this one's annoying. Wow, I just... Okay, that's right. Did I lose, or... Okay, there we go. Sandon. Yeah, well, I couldn't figure that out. Actually, I probably couldn't have. All right. This, this fight's annoying, because, like, you can't even see him. You have to hit him to see him, and then after you hit him, yeah, see, he, like, trips, but then it's complete luck. You have to watch, like, the footprints. I don't even like this thing. I don't even know what it is. I don't think you catch it if you win. Give me Charizard. Give me the, the old school Pokemon. Heck, give me Eevee. I don't know how that works in this game. If you get Eevee, if you, how you pick what it evolves into. Because usually they just evolve into whatever. But Eevee, of course, has like eight evolutions. Keep adding new ones. Something fell out of a tree. Oh, I see. That's like kind of like an infrared camera. Let's me see him. Out of all the mini games in this game, this is like the worst one. Eevee is Evoli. That kind of works in either language. Although it sounds more Italian. Okay, give me the Evoli. What do you mean we're out of Evoli? We need Evoli for the sauce. Come on. The music is giving me a headache. It's like I thought you wrote Eevee is evil, and I'm like, no, he's not. It's adorable. Did you ever, like, beat that game or get any further on it? Oh, cook Eevee. I just said he was an ingredient in the sauce. I didn't say what ingredient. Maybe I just need, like, I don't know, his blood or something. Like, a little bit. Okay, I don't know. Ah, all right, I guess I beat him. Did I get 30 million points? That seems excessive. Usually you get, like, a little handshake or something. Jeez, I got 30 friggin' points from that. Well, don't worry, if you're getting bored of this game, I've only got one ball left. Also, your stream is very often... Ah, damn it. I was so busy reading that, I lost the ball. Well, damn it. So I'm dropping frames, basically, is what I'm hearing. But is it, like, consistent? Because my, my um, stream lab is showing that I'm, like, still doing okay, except it does show some drop frames, but not, like, all the time. All right, we get it. Jeez, how many ball jokes are we going to make in this episode? Bex is like, how many do we have? All right. Oh, that was great, as uh, Adam Sandler would say. All right, let me pop this thing out. Here we go. Game number two. I hope you like the new system. So the theme for that one was, um, I was asking for that. The theme for this next one is, because it is the second game of the day, second games in the series. So we got Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Donkey Kong Country 2, Vector Man 2, Sonic Advance 2, and Frogger 2, of all the random things. Um, I actually had to kind of dig for that one. 
I did put some thought into this. So, oh, Donkey Kong, she says, all right, oh, I like uh, I like your decisiveness, and it's kind of easy for you to win the vote when you're the only one voting. So, yes, Donkey Kong Country 2 is a super fun game, also a super hard game, and uh, here it is right here. I think it's got like a super long title, too. Oh, no, it doesn't. Maybe it's the third one. There's one of them where it's like Donkey Kong Country, Donkey Kong goes to the grocery store, he gets bananas. Do you show the game covers now? Thank you. Yeah, that was part of my new idea. Um, and like I said, they all have different themes. So this is Donkey Kong Country 2. This covers my monkey demographic for the day. Game starring monkeys. I'll take game starring monkeys for 200. And some of these games may come back in future episodes just because I didn't play them today. That doesn't matter. Uh, let's see. It looks like I was in the middle of a game here as well. That was a very weird throw. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, put some clothes on. Be decent. I actually don't remember this at all. Got my ditty back. Seriously? Yo. Yo, barrels are not for wearing. Uh, if you want me to do it from the beginning, I can do it from the beginning. This is just kind of where it loaded me at. Less than one FPS again. God damn it. God damn it, I just jumped into lava. I need to stop reading the chat. Yeah, of course it works again, because I just jumped in the freaking lava. Alright, hold on. We'll do a new game. Now it works. Now it's bad. This is going to be the whole goddamn game, isn't it? Okay, this game doesn't exactly take a lot of bandwidth. It's weird how these retro games are what screw me up. Like, PS4 streams seem to go okay. Just keeping you updated. Well, how is it now? Okay, I can see what you're saying. My little bar on the bottom is telling me that I'm like... It's based on my internet. It's not even based on my bitrate. Because my bitrate is staying around 1500 the whole time. Now it says my internet's good. I don't know why it would be any different. Now let's start a new game. Let's do a two-player. No, I'm just kidding. There's no second player. I wonder if I can remote play this. Is this... I don't think this is one of the games that's on the Nintendo... Super Nintendo online thing. It might be. I don't know. Someone watching porn. No, my dad's not home. No, I'm just kidding. That was bad. No, no one's watching anything. In fact, I, like, purposely am not doing anything that, um, uses any internet other than this. How do you reach those bananas up there? Like, I can't climb the ropes. I don't know. No, no porn. Oh, maybe I, maybe I use her to reach it. Because I think she has, like, the... Okay, I didn't get on each other's head. Oh, okay, I guess I'm going to a bonus round. Captain K. Rule with a K. That's right, I was wondering why you play as the kids in this game and not Donkey Kong. Video game plots were never that creative. Hey, the barrel respawned. Here, eat a box. Oh, I missed. Probably a good choice to stream from the beginning because the later levels, I mean, I wasn't even doing that great in that lava level, but later levels I'm really bad at. How do you reach stuff? I do enjoy the style of the Donkey Kong games. There we go. Oh, so I could throw her. Okay. It's been a while since I played this. The first one I know very well because it's like the simplest one. The third one was actually really good as well. I've never beaten... Well, I beat the first one. I, the second and third one, I always just get my butt kicked. It's just lunatic again. I actually, you know, for what it's worth, I really like the newer ones, too. Like, they made two revives on the Wii U and the uh, 3DS that were pretty good. And they also, the Switch has a Donkey Kong Country game that's pretty good. I don't have it, but I played it when it was on the Wii U. You can't beat this. Like, you know, it's one thing to make a game that looks like this in today's graphics, but to do this in, like, 1995 or whatever it was, like, that's pretty impressive. I still have to say it is. Jesus, this guy won't let me move. I want 
the barrel, taking the barrel with me. It seems like the stream health is doing a little bit better. It's kind of funny how I said that and then it didn't. I really want to play the Switch one. That's the one I was talking about. That's a really good game. Um, I, ha I had it on Wii U. I don't think I have it anymore, but really fun levels. The last world, though, is like impossible, and I'm like stuck on that. Much like the... Well, I won't spoil it for you. But yeah, some good levels in that. It's really hard. I don't know if you've played Donkey Kong Country Returns, but it's harder than that, and that was pretty hard. But I've actually beaten that. I've not beaten Tropical Breeze. Oh, I really liked um, Donkey Kong Country Returns. It pretty much had a little of everything. That's right, this is the one that has all the bugs in it. Like, literally, the bees and the spiders and stuff. Like, I'm really using all my CPU on this Super Nintendo game. Alright, so that's a checkpoint. Oh, that was Steve Reich! Hopefully the frame rate wasn't bad for that, because that was actually kind of cool. Your stream buffers all the time now. God damn it. That was actually, like, a really cool move I did, too. I don't get why. I've got nothing running. Barrel. Oh, now there is. I can grab the bug? I did not know that. off. Can I already do Gangplank Galley or whatever? Oh, I got two viewers. Just in time to see this really crappy internet. This is pissing me off. Oh, wow, my bitrate just took a big hit. Bonus round. Hoping this stabilizes, but so far I'm not seeing any signs of it. Bit rate's a little bit better now. What am I trying to do here? Let's grab treasure chests. Damn, I thought I fixed all this, because it had been running fine even with some of the other streams. Had two viewers. This doesn't help when there's nothing to view. Shoot, 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 shoot. Uh, paying attention to too many things. Quest party episode seven. Goes. Oh, had a little uh, frame rate issue there. May or may not right. have gotten better. I'm not really After sure. This game, I'll have to uh, try turning more things off. So um, we're gonna try this again. I'm kind of annoyed because I thought I had this fixed, but I don't know. And now I got to break this episode up into parts. So. Yippee. I was having some fun though. Actually, did some pretty cool moves on the Donkey Kong Country 2, which I'm sure none of them showed up now. Watching my computer usage kind of go up and down a bit here. Oh, this is so annoying. This is so annoying. Nobody does it with this. I don't know if it's the HDMI cable I'm using or what. But as soon as I've got kind of an idea what's going on here, I might even just start to uh, play the game again just to see what's uh, what's going on here I beat that level I did beat that level all right let's see let's go back into the action here this is wrinkly Kong why don't I remember wrinkly Kong I'm good she doesn't charge me to save my game this is super annoying. I'm, I'm watching the... See, I don't like... When the CPU usage goes over, like, 60%, that's when I start to get problems, and it's kind of staying there. I 
not even like paying attention to the game right now because I'm trying to make sure that this is going to run. Stay in school, kids. All right, see, usage is still pretty high. Let's play some Lockjaw's Locker. Welcome back, Bex. Um, sorry about that. I hope that we are doing a little bit better now. Kind of annoying. I can't pay attention to the game because I'm looking at the stupid frame rate every second. But that's that's on my end, obviously. Two stream labs I'm doing okay, but we'll see how long that lasts. I was almost done playing this game anyway. Stuff like that happens, it kind of takes me out of it. It's not like I'm streaming Halo here, I'm streaming Donkey Kong Country 2. That's an electric eel. Oh, that's a freaking starfish blade. Just heard something take a bite of something. This stupid thing. I don't think I can attack when I'm underwater either, unless I have a barrel. Ah, oh, damn it. I think I needed to get up there. I'm dead. So, Bex, how's the uh, performance now? I ask. Unsure. The stream of the player. Well, I guess the, the player goes without saying is pretty bad, but if you can see how bad I am, that means the stream is at least working. Yeah, we got a second viewer. Might actually have a more interesting vote next time. Some weird sound effects I'm getting here. Stream is okay. Now buffer is now okay. God damn it. Get over there. Uh, I guess I just have to wait until the water rises here. Which is 90% the case. God damn it. Yeah, I've literally, I've turned off everything in the house that uses internet other than the computer. I mean, I can't use any less internet than I'm using right now. Not to mention I've done this before and it's worked. I did this with Dreamcast. I mean, this is really freaking weird. Oh, the end of the level was right there. today. It was 30 frames per second, but then it also said that my internet sucks. How do I say his name? Oh, all right. I wish it was that easy. I really do. It's really frustrating.
we'll do uh, Top Sail Trouble, and then I'll go on to the third game, because this is not going particularly great, only because of the internet. It's actually... I was kicking ass on that one level. Not so much ass later. Sorry, Bex, I know you wanted to see some more Donkey Kong, but... I like the boingy snake at least. Boing. Boing. More boing. Oh crap. Oh crap, I boing too much. Did it, like, just start doing this when I played Donkey Kong Country, or does it even matter what game it is? Crap, 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 crap. Okay, the snake is not helping. Despite being adorable. Buffering, frozen pick, long... God damn it. Regardless, after this level, I'm gonna probably gonna have to restart the stream again, and then I'll go on to game number three if I even remember what it is. Party episode seven. Um, wrapping I, think I made up pictures. Here with Donkey Kong two. Pictures of what's doing. Sorry, it did not play very well, but such is the life of my internet. So, just a moment here. I'm going to have my third vote. Um, damn, it really sucks. I had all those things set up too. Alright, so, third, third, what, what you might call it here, of the day, and of course, now my internet seems to be working okay, not great, but okay, so, right now, I'm on a low-resolution webcam, um, streaming off a Retron 5, um, I have no clue why the internet would be an issue, but, who knows anymore? This really kind of annoys me now. So, get back in the program. Okay. We are good, I think. And as soon as we have anybody to vote on things, I will go ahead and present the choices. All right. Well, let's hope that this works. Um, so, this time we are going to do space games so i've got star fox for super nintendo super star wars iridian 3d and butt ugly martians which i could not believe i still owned this game from an old nickelodeon show uh so yeah that's what we got for that iridian 3d kind of a cool 3d shooting space game super star wars pretty self-explanatory kind of figured you'd go with star wars i do enjoy this game even though i kind of suck at it uh let's see here All right, I'll give this about five minutes before something happens. To the game! Oh, listen to that great uh, MIDI music. I almost thought it was going to do the wedding march for a second. Ah, oh, yeah, sounds just like the movies. Looks just like the movies. Ah, oh, yeah, look at that. It's like we're in the movie. If I remember this game correctly, I'd like never make it past the first or second level. I actually didn't realize it was this detailed. Part of me wants to skip this because I already know the story, but it's actually kind of cool how they did this. I don't even know if this is the same text as the original movie, but it's pretty cool. Alright, I'm actually going to skip this because I can't even really read it. Pipe, pipe, pipe. Well, let's see. Oh, wow, they even show like the first scene from the movie, kind of. Kind of 
cut out a lot, but yeah, there you go. State pod to Tatooine. Remember, I don't want to go in the quicksand. I need C-3PO here to be going like, Oh, Master Luke, this is terrible. Don't do this. That like weird jumpy did. That's a scorpion. I don't remember any of this in the movie. Just the, oh, geez, the scorpion just turned into two scorpions. It really is just like the movie. Remember when he shoots a scorpion that turns into two scorpions? when those green things come out and attack? They must be Vader's. I just them to sit there and wait for me to shoot them, though. Oh, jeez, I got me. Gremlins, wrong movie. Maybe they couldn't afford to make a Gremlins game, so they just uh, kind of shared. It's actually better than I remember it. I think the problem with this game was like the speeder levels are like really hard to play. Luckily, like every one of them seems to give you a health up, so it, it's kind of easy in that way, even though I keep getting hit. I don't know if you play as anyone else in this game or you just play as Luke, I'm really not sure. I can't even move because, like, every other step I get a freaking oh, blaster power up. I want to say this goes through all three movies. Or maybe it just does a new hope, I'm not sure. Oh, I do switch characters. Have you played this before? So I can be Han Solo or, I don't know, Obi-Wan. I don't know if he's in this much. I want to be Lando for some reason. This blaster is pretty cool. Of course. In fact, it's like I've beaten this eight times. I've destroyed so many Death Stars, it would make your head spin. I feel like the level's just looping. Like, I feel like I've climbed these hills and shot these scorpions before. Oh, oh no, that guy's new. Where are the scavengers to take my drones? Oh, jeez, okay. That wasn't very fair. Crap, 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 crap. I don't want to stay there. I do remember this, because it's like you have to stay out of the freaking... Whoa, okay. Yeah, you have to stay out of the quicksand, but then he's also like... He doesn't really do a whole lot, does he? He just wants to give you a hug. Up to ass. Oh, I guess that was it. Da -da, da -da 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 -da. Ah, screw it. I'll, I'll save my game. Maybe. Poor Sarlacc. Over here. Hey, hey, help. Please, help. Oh, I'm sorry. That's C-3PO. I am C-3PO, human-cyborg relations. Something terrible has happened. My counterpart, R2-D2, has been captured by Jawas. We must find him. Yeah, that was, that was my C-3PO. He has like a weird British, but not really British accent. This level, oh, this is the one I don't like. So I got no idea what I'm doing or where to go. Okay, so that's how I shoot. Who am I shooting? Where are the thingies? Shoot C-3PO? I'd love to. Probably wouldn't be the first time. I feel like every movie he's getting his head blown off or something. Oh dear, Master Luke. We are in quite a bit of trouble here, aren't we? Oh, wait. That was a heart. I need that. Uh, I guess not. 
I've got 11 Jawas left. I don't even remember shooting one. And I died. This is why I hate this level. That's why I never made it far in this game. I knew there was a reason. Like, that first level was pretty easy. These graphics, I don't even know what the Jawas would look like. Oh, probably that thing shooting at me. Wait, how do I... I can go up? Oh, what? That would have been a lot more helpful to know. I thought I had to just stay on the ground. Could they just bounce like that? Now, am I dying because I'm running out of jet fuel or because I'm running out of health? Because I have enough health. I can't turn in this stupid thing. No C-3PO is a backseat driver. Oh, that health power-up did not do a lot. What the freak? Right, so I have no jet power, and I'm dead. This is really stupid. There's a way to skip this level in the cheat menu. I might do it. Just because I want to see some of the other levels in this game. This is, seems to be the only level I ever see. Really, do we need R2D2? Does he really play any role in the story other than kind of the entire role of the story? Two out of ten? What do you have one of those for every number? Oh, looks like I'm getting shot by Elf. Oh god. I hate this level. Okay. At least now I kind of know what I'm doing. It's just weird because this environment and the graphics just make it very hard to see. It's like Space Harrier from Sega Genesis, but not nearly as good because Space Harrier, you don't turn 360 degrees around. Houdini. They are kind of like Houdini. Yeah, that's right. Just stay right there in front of me. It's half of them gone. It kind of sounds like they, they yell, we, like, we. It's a weird thing to yell as they die. I'll admit, up close they kind of do look more like the things from the movie, although I don't remember this many of them. I remember like two of them. There's three left. How did I die? Nothing's even shooting me! Oh, this is so stupid. this again. I'm, I kind of know what I'm doing now. I just don't know what the hell is hitting me because they're only in my face for like a second. Two out of ten. Come on, I killed a lot of them. That's worth at least a five. The problem is it seems like I'm constantly getting hit, but I don't know by what. The health power-ups only give me like five percent health back. not driving all that great either. They're driving like sideways. Another 2 out of 10? Well, at least between the two of them, I have a 4 out of 10. Now they're playing bumper cars with me. How do I freaking turn this piece of crap? is not to get hit. All right, Clev. <sighs> Don't even see them hit me half the time. Why does only... Okay, there we go. I was going to say, half the time only one of my jet boosters even goes on. There's 
not even any, like, radar or anything to tell where they are. They just kind of show up. Driving terribly the whole time. Once we get it, Bex, it's not good. I'm gonna guess you only have a 2 out of 10 one, because that's the only one you've shown. Nothing with you, huh? Either get a 2 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10. I was getting stupid annoying now. I'll take a wild guess and say that the holes in the ground do a lot of damage to my ship if I hit them. That time I at least saw myself get shot. It's also kind of unfair there's 12 of them and one of me in a desert. Obviously, they're going to win. Okay, the kaboom emoji was very appropriate there. spin my ship around and shoot them, that would be great. Got him. Wait, what the? I killed the zero. What the frick? What am I supposed to do now? There, there were zero left. Out of 12, I killed zero. I mean, I, there were zero. Oh, my freaking God. That's, oh, my God. Alright, well, killing them doesn't win, I guess. So that kind of makes me question the whole existence of this level. Sorry, I just don't get it. If I kill 12 of them, that should be it, right? Or is there, like, a bigger one? I, I mean, I didn't see anything else. There's no goal here, it's just to kill them. Kinda is a tank, but it controls so bad. There's three of these left. Not that it matters, because when I kill them all, I still won't win the level. That's a stupid thing. Zero. Head towards Sandcrawler. Well, where the hell is that? Why are there still more of them? Do I not know what zero means? There's like more now than when they were actually there. Oh, this is crap. This is crap, Ola. Head, head ten to Sandcrawler. It's the worst GPS I've ever seen. Let me see something here. Well, it is a great game when it actually works. I'm 
only cheating because I want to see if there's another level I can play that isn't that. Like, I just want to start at, like, another level. Half these cheats don't even work anyway. Yeah, there's no level start. All right, fine. We'll we'll save you the embarrassment of watching more of that. So that was me trying to pilot a steam thingy, a speed thing, or I can't talk right now. All right. These next two games or next two votes are going to be fairly similar, but right now we're going to pick between Nickelodeon games. So for Nickelodeon, I've got Tiny Toon Adventures, Ah Real Monsters, Ren and Stimpy Vidiots, which of course I've already played before, and Danny Phantom. Landspeeder, whatever. Danny Phantom Ultimate Enemy on Game Boy Advance. So those are my choices for this next vote. Feel free to vote as you see fit. I do enjoy Tiny Toon Adventures. Uh, it's actually one of my favorite games as a kid. I don't know if Tiny Toons was actually owned by Nickelodeon. I know that they showed it so much it just kind of felt like it was. But I digress. This is a really fun game, actually. Kind of borrows from Sonic and Mario. In fact, the level map, if you've ever played this, looks a lot like Super Mario World. Like, I mean, it may as well be Super Mario World in that regard. Let's see here. Okay, there we go. Absolutely. It looks like I haven't played this game before, so it'll start from level one. Had one of them on Game Boy. They did make a few. I forget what the one on Game Boy was. I think it was almost like a mini game type of collection, like a Mario Party type of thing. This is more of a straight platforming game. Konami. Whoop. So yeah, that's your world map. You tell me that doesn't look like Mario, uh, Super Mario World. And then just to make him like Sonic, if you get him to run fast enough, his feet spin like that. So again, you tell me. This one does have a plot. I don't think it's from an episode of the show, although there's a bunch of show characters referenced, like Dr. Gene Splicer and obviously his friends. And I think the Toxic Revenger makes an appearance, which was um, Plucky Duck's alternate superhero character. So there's all kinds of little things like that. You can go to Wacky World and meet Go-Go. But as for the actual plot, I don't think it's based on a real episode. It involves um, Monty Maximilian trying to uh, steal a treasure, basically. And he's hired Dr. Gene Splicer to hypnotize Buster's friends, so that's most of the bosses are him. Uh, there's Go-Go. I don't know if you really watch Tiny Toon Adventures, but yeah, a lot of the characters are obviously in this. Ah, I forget the name of that Condor there. That's the bonus icon. Because he was almost like an Eeyore type of character. He's like, not really. I don't know. Actually, there's a lot of complaints about this game and like how weird the jump is, and that is very true, actually. Some of the more precise platforming, this is not the best game to play. I'm kind of used to it, having played it for so long. I actually recently added this to my Sega Genesis Mini, because I added a bunch of games to that. In fact, that'll probably be my next episode. I've added a bunch of, like, licensed games and stuff like that. Off of, um, Sega ROMs. And speaking of future streams, at some point before the Sonic movie comes out, I most likely will do Sonic 3 and Knuckles, which is my favorite Sonic game of all time. And I will do the entire game, which is probably like two, two and a half hours. It's such a great game. I just kind of got lucky there. It's like obviously looks fairly easy so far. It gets kind of hard around level 10. It's a very long game. I'm not going to play this whole game, but for a kid's game, this was actually fairly challenging. I don't think I beat this game either. I think I got to like the second to last boss on this. Oh, this is like, I remember this. This is like the theme music from when Buster tries out for the football team. Like that really generic sporty music. Let's go, team! Ah. 
Coast Sports. Pretty much, that's what it always sounded like. Titans had some really good music, and a lot of it's in this game, thankfully. Oops. So, hopefully, other than the frame rate being an issue at times, you like the new format for the Retro Request Party. It's like I was saying earlier, otherwise I'm just kind of picking from random games. This way I kind of narrow it down a little bit, and it also doesn't take four hours. Bum, bum. Okay, this is a boss level, I think. Yep, Dr. Splicer, and there's uh, Dizzy Devil. So. See, I can't hit Dizzy Devil because he's almost always spinning. So I've got to hit the doctor. He's always the boss, but then there's another character, like in this case it was Dizzy Devil, that's trying to kill you. Um, he gets harder, obviously. Dizzy brainwashed by mad scientist. Dizzy okay now. Dizzy think, Buster Bunny. Yeah, Dizzy kind of talks like, uh, freaking Elmo. You're welcome. Oh, I just realized that that's not how you spell you're welcome in that context. I hope no one else runs into that mad scientist. You know, the game is teaching kids how to spell wrong. That's great. little more of this game before the final vote, which I've actually enjoyed. So far, Bex has voted it more or less exactly how I thought you would. Your oof. My oof? Leave my oof out of this. Oh, you mean the, uh, yeah, that's what I was saying. You're welcome. Like, what the hell is that? Maybe they couldn't afford an apostrophe. It wasn't in the budget. Pretty sure those spikes are instant kill. I don't really want to find out. Uh, these these critters are from like the environmental episode where like the Wolverine and the thing throwing tomatoes is like trashing the environment. Ah, I think this is a pretty solid game. Like it's not perfect, but for a licensed game, I think it's kind of fun. Oh, that's right. Those little icons are like assist characters, so I can call that little Roadrunner thing to help me if I need them. I don't remember what the icons did. Oh, oh yeah, they're instant kill. <laughs> now I know. Because <laughs> I had three hearts and that took them all. Not think those spikes are down there. That guy just stands there and looks at you. Isn't there also that super muscular? Oh, the one with glasses? Yeah, I think they're in this too. I think there were two of them. They were like, we going to pump you up. Can't remember what their names were. Might be in this. They put those cans there, and those cans literally serve no purpose but to make you trip. I mean, sometimes that can really screw you up, though. But, like, they're not, like, deadly unless you trip into lava. Just the fact that they're there is such a troll move. Oh, this is how I fell the last time I tried to get greedy and bounce off one of those bats.
probably do a couple more levels of this before I uh, do the last game of the episode. Anyway, I'll nap a bit before the Super Bowl. Oh, I was going to vote for the last game. I'll vote for it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, Bex. Um, I'll see you in a couple hours for the Super Bowl, or actually a little more than that. But thank you for watching. Thank you for playing. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, and once again, thank you for watching. Oh, wait. Fine? Show me the game. All right, fine. Doesn't mean you have to watch it. I'm just... I mean, right now, you're the only democracy there is right now. It's uh, it's your world. We're just voting in it. So we just did Nickelodeon games. Last category is Disney games. So we got Aladdin, Toy Story, The Jungle Book, and Kim Possible 3. Which I don't know why I have Kim Possible 3 and not the other two. If I fall asleep later, it's your fault. You don't have to watch it. I'm just like, I mean, I'm almost done anyway. Oh, my internet will probably crash before we get halfway through any of these things. But I digress. I'm going to go ahead and pop out the other cartridge while I'm chilling here. What do you think I'd choose out of those? I think you would choose Aladdin, but surprise me. That is my honest guess, though. Oops, I almost killed myself. But let's see what you choose. Ha, I thought so. And I mean, Aladdin is, like, probably the best licensed game on the Sega Genesis. Really good game. Let's check it out. May or may not have played this one in the previous episode as well. I'm not sure I have. This is one of my favorite non-Sonic games on the console. <laughs> no cartridge inserted. Well, like hell there is. You can get some rest if you want to. I mean, I wasn't saying you had to stay for all this. This is the last game, though. And it goes like a this. I always like how Genie shoots Iago out of the sky. Now, I appreciate you watching, and I appreciate you kind of going along with the little theme here. Kind of something new I'll be doing. Maybe in future episodes there won't be a theme and I'll just do random games, but I'll still show them. But yeah, this is obviously Aladdin. The only thing that sucks is that later I'm going to have to download these as separate clips from Twitch and put them together because I had to restart a couple times. If any of it's even watchable. How can you go wrong with Aladdin? Bright, colorful graphics, fun music based on the movie. And obviously, all movie games are based on the movie, but this one really kind of follows it really well. Oh god, I love the movie. I actually, I think it's on Disney Plus, because I don't have it on DVD. I have it on VHS, but that doesn't really help anybody anymore. I think it's on, like, I know the live action one's on Disney Plus, but I think the original cartoon is also on Disney Plus. If I remember correctly, other than Robin Williams, like, there really were no real actors in that movie. Like, no, no one that's, like, super recognizable doing the voices. Well, I shouldn't say that. Uh, Gilbert Gottfried as Iago. Oh, you don't have it yet? That's a, Wait, then how were you watching uh, Mandalorian? Because that was Disney Plus. Or, well, I guess I know how you were watching it. Say, even I have Mandalorian on my Disney Plus. Still want to see what happens with that baby Yoda. That is his real name. 
Oh yeah, Bex forgets that we got it. I don't know if you ever watch Fairly Odd Parents, but when it, whenever they asked him how he got something, he'd always go, uh, internet? I'm gonna have to use the apples to attack, because the freaking sword is not always working. Ah, oh, goddammit, I hate to do this again. That guy's just standing there waiting with the stick. Yeah, I'm just gonna walk into you so you can hit me with that stick. Really? Easily, like, the best movie game from this era. I mean, there were some other good ones, but... I mean, this was just it's a great game. Like, forget if you've seen the movie, like... Just really well made. This guy tries to sell you stuff. Do I have enough? Uh, oh, I got five gems. Well, let's hope that's not true with the Sonic movie, but yeah, I don't have my hopes extremely high. Although Detective Pikachu was really good. It wasn't like best Pokemon movie ever, but it did justice to the series, and had the Pokemon in there pretty realistically, I thought. I hear that the Batman game for, um, well, it was for NES and Genesis, based on the original Batman movie, I hear that was a pretty good game, I might try to get my hands on that. Got a way to download it. I always love the music in this level. Also, always love jumping on this uh, camel. Just the animation that they do with him is just really like accurate, really well done. Oh, geez, okay, cool. Yeah, I think the Sonic movie will be okay. I'll talk more about that when I do the Sonic 3 stream because I know we're all dying to hear my opinions on that, which I'm gonna do before the movie, so I won't have seen it yet. But my opinion on it is basically that it's gonna be okay. But uh, I'll find things to like about it just because I'm a Sonic fan. But, uh, I think I'm more looking forward to Jim Carrey, honestly, which seems to be the general consensus. Although the actor doing Sonic isn't doing a bad job, from what I've heard of his voice lines. Like, he's, he's doing a good job with the character. And I also have a very specific idea of how Sonic should be represented, and it's very unlikely that any medium is going to represent it right. I think Sonic should be kind of funny, but also kind of serious, and they either go too far in either direction. That's been my experience. Both in the games and anything else, they make Sonic either really just goofy beyond just annoying, or they make him super serious, and like everything's like a big deal. So I'm hoping they kind of do a middle ground, which it looks like they've kind of done with the movie. I don't mind him being funny, but I don't want it to be the point where it's like, oh, I can't take him seriously, like, this is just so stupid. How did that guy hit me through the freaking wall? He just hit me with a sword through the wall. Hey, God, how do you like getting hit through the wall? Damn it. Because that's how he liked it. Force. It was the Force that did it. I feel bad because I feel like I'm keeping Bex up. She just wants to take a nap. The Bro Force. Jesus, I hate that. I knew that was coming too, and I still fell for it. Freaking hits me to the wall. That's Iago. 
So one piece, there we go. I need that thing for the table wonders or whatever. Uh, what's this guy want? What are you gonna sell me? Got enough for an extra life. I never made it far in this game. I think the furthest I make it is to like the level after the Cave of Wonders where you're running away from the boulder. I might have eaten that once. And actually the harder the harder level is the musical number with Genie, which I didn't even think was supposed to be hard, but it's like freaking Genie like treats you like a freaking rag doll in that level. You, know, you don't care if you die. Huh, that's funny. Is that the end of the level? I have to think I still have to find that other thing. That's right, it's literally right there. I appreciate you checking this out, but like I said, you know, if you want to get some sleep, I certainly understand that. Don't want you staying up till, like, I don't know, what is it, 4 a.m. your time to watch the Super Bowl? Those ads, though, those ads are going to be something. I hope. I'm watching as much for the ads as anything. Know if I can see the ads. Well, you'll see some ads. It might not be the same ads. What are you streaming it on that same thing as the fights? have to describe to you what the American ads are then. So that's like, I mean, I like football, but that's one of the reasons I watch is for the ads. So wait a second, if you're, if you're using that, does that mean the commentary is going to be in German? Because I will totally wear headphones for that. why this level's after the desert level. Oh, there we go. Ow. That's me dying. I guess this did end up being about as long as my usual episodes. Well, not really. A little over an hour and a half. It's kind of where I want it to be. I don't want it to be People getting bored. By people, I mean Bex, because she's the only one who watches these things. Hey, I'm glad she does.
Ow. They put these stupid things in the way so I can't jump right. Flute's supposed to do. I keep collecting these flutes. Yeah, it even says find the flutes. But what? Damn it, the sword is like. I don't know. I don't know if it's a controller or the game. Sometimes there's issues with some of these ROMs. This isn't even a ROM, this is a cartridge. Come on! Hit that like five times. life either way. I don't think I'm going to get an extra life that quickly. There was literally an extra life just right there. That's funny. Okay, that seemed a little bizarre. That's a cool little detail. If he throws the knife at your apples, the apple actually gets cut in half. It's a cool detail they didn't really have to put in there. Say Iago is going to be up here. Oh, this guy. I forgot about him. I think this is the guy who's got the key to the Cable Wonders in the movie. Two out of ten? Come on! Bug literally just flew by me. I don't know if you heard it on the camera. This is a boss. This I remember. This guy throws barrels. The problem with this guy is if I run out of apples, I don't know how to hit him. I'm out of apples. Great. I like I don't know how to hit him. Oh, I do. Hold on. It's like impossible, but I have to hit the swords back at him. Uh, even that doesn't fucking work. Oh, all right, they give you a few more apples down here. I was gonna say, I got no way to hit him. There we go. Uh, that was a quick upgrade. 2 to 10 to 10 to 10. Alright, I needed that. Damn it, I did not need that. This level blows. This level freaking blows. I remember this. Game gets a lot harder from here, but I do love the Arabian Nights music. And these friggin' bricks, forget it. 
I did always enjoy the skeletons that replace their head with a bomb and then explode. Yeah, this is gonna be over quick, I can tell you. Crap, 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 crap. Oh, Jesus. Rebisch nach day. Hey, I actually know what that means. I only know the German version. It's the same thing. They just change it to that, which is admittingly fairly close. In fact, I actually notice a lot of German words pronounced almost sound like English, but spelled they don't. Like neunzehn. To me, it sounds a lot like nineteen. I'm sorry, but it does. But spelling-wise, it's not even close. Trying to go to the beat of the music, but I, it's really hard to time these bricks. Wasn't there another one? Oh, this is so bad. No, I know you do. I, I, I kind of felt bad for keeping you up, so I'll see you in a couple hours or so for the Super Bowl. Have a good nap, and uh, yeah, see you soon. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks again, Bex. Be and Dank. Go Niners, I guess. That's how it's gonna end. So I'm pretty sure that's my last life. Nah. Not gonna continue, but appreciated another great episode of uh, Retro Request Party. I know it had some laggy issues at times, but we got to see some great games today. Uh, Super Star Wars, freaking Aladdin, Tiny Toons, DK Country, all that great stuff. So I really appreciate all one of you came out today. Pokemon Pinball as well. Uh, next time, I'm probably going to bring back the Sega Genesis Mini because I added some new games to it, and obviously I won't need the pictures then because it'll just be on the screen. And again, hope